Hi everyone and welcome to Covera Quick Takes. Our guest today is Rahul Singh. He is the CIO of Equities for Tata Mutual Fund. Rahul heads the fund management and equity research teams at Tata MF. He is a mechanical engineer by training with an MBA in finance from IIM Lucknow. Rahul is a veteran in financial services with nearly 23 years of ex- financial services experience behind him. Hi Rahul and welcome to Covera Quick Takes. Yeah, hi Nila. So my question uh, for you is, what are quant funds? So quant funds, uh, Nila, is basically funds which do not require human intervention. Uh, normal funds, when you're looking at whether it's a diversified fund or a sector fund, uh, we look at, uh, you know, we look at the company, analyze the company uh, using human judgment, uh, whether you like the management, you like the corporate governance, you like the business, and then we invest basis uh, what we think of the valuation. Quant funds, in contrast, they look at a set of you know hundred variables, sometimes five hundred variables, and then they decide on the basis of that whether uh, you should be buying X company or a Y company, uh, and that that can change in three months. Whereas in a normal fund like ours, a diversified fund, uh, the view does not change for a fairly long time, uh, at least one year. Uh, so quant funds are inherently more algorithm driven, more driven by rules, set rules, which are not uh, dependent on human judgment. Uh, once you set a rule of, we are going to look at these 100 variables and these 100 variables are going to give me an output which is first of all going to tell me whether I should be buying equities or not. Sometimes the signal is not to buy any equities for the next three months because uh, if the model is able to predict that we are going to see a correction. And if we buy equities, what are those 30 stocks which we should be buying? Um, and and the model throws that out. Uh, the It's a quantitative model and there are, um, you know, there is, there is a lot of research which is actually happening here including artificial intelligence uh, and machine learning, uh, which is which means that the models also learn from their mistakes. And and I think it's an exciting area. It's still early days uh, in, in, in the world uh, and in India. But I think uh, uh, some of the, uh, I mean, the proof of the pudding in, is really the model and how well it works. Right. So are quant funds for everybody or should a specific set of investors uh, think about investing in quant funds? So quant funds, I think, are funds which are uh, for investors who are a little bit more experimental uh, because it's not your tradition. You're not taking a bet on a fund manager. You're taking a, a bet on a model, on a, on a quantitative model, uh, which over a period of time gets tested. Whereas a fund manager has already been tested for five years, 10 years, some in some cases, 20 years. So you know what you're getting into. In quant fund, uh, it's a uh, while when we design a quant fund, we know what is there and we are confident. It is still for an investor, it is a black box. He does not know uh, what is really in that. So only for uh, investors who are slightly more risk taking uh, and slightly more experimental, I would recommend quant fund. Uh, number two is that, um, you know, I think if a quant fund does well, it is able to also protect capital, which means if the quant fund is rightly able to predict that market is going to go down, then it will automatically recommend not to invest in equities or to invest in safe defensive stocks. So that's a very big um, advantage which you can get in a quant fund. Uh, but I think one should start in a slow manner if, uh, if someone is key and gradually build it up as they see the track record of a particular quant fund. I think that's the way to do a quant fund. And I think uh, that is the nature of the product itself, which is uh, 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 which is letting me tell you that because uh, I would not, um, you know, uh, I would not advise anyone to put 30-40% of their money into quant funds in one shot. You do it gradually, test it out see how it is working and then and then keep allocating more money to it. Right, right. So in a sense, would you say that, uh, uh, you know, a fund, uh, a quant fund effectively, the algorithms that, uh, you know, make these uh, suggestions of which stocks to invest in, in the example that you took, you mentioned 30 stocks. Uh, 
isn't it like a fund manager the fund manager who's managing the fund they are creating the template or the uh, you know sort of the algorithms or the formula or the logic uh, they are configuring the logic and then the computer models or the uh, you know or, or, or the intelligence that goes behind it uh, runs those uh, models or runs that uses that template or the checklist or whatever one wants to call it that that process of uh, uh, shortlisting uh, so in effect it's a reflection of the fund managers uh, you know philosophy uh, for that particular uh, product right it's so it simply uh, becomes a translates into a tool for decision making right uh, actually it is not just a tool for decision making it is the entire decision making so uh, when we do such checks in our uh, normal diversified fund uh, management we also look at similar data points but we then use our own judgment and saying no i think right. this company is cheap but i still don't like this company and i am not going to buy it because i don't like the management strategy uh, whereas a bond fund will say okay if it is if this company is coming up through these rules they will still end up buying it uh, both could be right or wrong right uh so uh, so it's not a question of what is right what is wrong it's a question of following the uh, following the model uh, strictly and not uh, therefore uh, changing it just because as a fund manager i didn't like what it came out of it so there are various examples of uh, uh, funds throwing up companies which the fund manager fundamentally may not like even though it is fitting the rules Uh, so i think it is uh, therefore i'm saying it is a very different product it is not uh, it is not driven by only fundamentals also you have to understand is that uh, when quant funds invest first they also try and identify whether it's worth investing into equities or not that is number one right that choice we do not have in the diversified funds uh, or investor does not have it mostly 80 90% is always invested into equities uh secondly the quant fund decides that uh, when should we invest in value stocks or quality stocks or momentum stocks i'm just trying to give you simple examples whereas um, whereas a diversified fund manager uh, does not think in that way if he likes the company he likes it for 2 to 3 years he is not worried about next one year one month momentum or two month short term movements right whereas a uh, quant fund worries about that also and tries to predict that so it tries to also capture the short term movements uh, properly right. and uh, trying to make uh, take advantage of that movement you know pretty much covers it but are there any other risks or any other factors that uh, investors should understand before making the decision to invest in quant funds no i think uh, uh, i think one should uh, definitely test quant funds because uh, it can potentially become a very very big thing uh, and it is not a passive fund it is a passive fund in the sense that the fund manager is not acting uh, the model is acting but it is not really mirroring any index or anything uh, i think it can become very powerful uh, but the models are still evolving Uh, and i also right. think that uh, as an investor when you invest in quant funds uh, for people who are slightly more experimental want to take risk and try out new things i think it's a it's a good thing to start trying now uh, and allocate capital uh, when as in when they get more and more confidence in the model uh, because as i always said that uh, you are not here buying a fund because it is managed by uh x y z fund fund manager whom you are comfortable with you are buying something uh, which is proving itself over a period of time so i think that if as long as one keeps keeps that in mind uh, i think it's a good segment to uh, allocate cap right right all right rahul thank you so much for joining us today thank you very much thank you